Hello there, I'm John Hammond, and this is Jurassic Park, where some of your nerdy dreams come true. At Jurassic Park, we couldn't have brought back your favorite dinosaurs without our sponsor, Card Conduit. Are you looking for some extra cash for the holidays, and you're thinking of selling some cards to get there? Well, then make sure to check out Card Conduit. Make a list of the cards you want to sell, ship them to Card Conduit, and soon you'll have the best price for those cards and cash in your account to prove it. To learn more, go to cardconduit.com slash kingdomstv and use code kingdomstv for 10% off your fees. While you're here at Jurassic Park, why not smash that like button and subscribe to our channel so we can continue to bring you dinerific shows like this one. And with that, welcome to Jurassic Park. Alrighty, let's roll to see who goes first. I got uh, an eight. Ooh, Four. Twelve double, doesn't double matter. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jeff Foe, and I'm playing Indoraptor, the perfect hybrid. This is a deck where I kind of want to burn all of my opponents. So when it comes into play, it comes in with a lot of plus one, plus one counters. And then so it's a really mean creature that they may or may not want to block, which then causes them to sacrifice creatures or take more damage. So in all in all, I'm just trying to burn their faces really quick, really fast. It's like a Jun burn deck and I'm really excited. Hey everybody, Carlos here. And I am playing Henry Wu, InGen Geneticist. This is a human tribal deck, also an aristocrats deck. So some pretty straightforward types there. But uh, the main goal is to get out um, some weird type of creature that's not human, some kind of token. And then as I play my humans, I sacrifice those to draw more cards, which also triggers the aristocrats effects. And uh, that's primarily, there's no combos or anything crazy. So we'll see how the deck uh, turns out. And we'll also see who's the true apex predator. Hey everyone, uh, I'm John. I'm playing uh, Ian Malcolm at Chaos Edition. This deck really is meant to mess around with the tops of everyone's libraries, uh, hopefully exile some sweet stuff off of other people's libraries, hopefully uh, help this game devolve uh, into absolute nonsense that doesn't resemble anyone else's game. Hey everyone, this is Jason R, and I'm playing Indominus Rex Alpha. We're gonna nickname him Ira, lovingly. This is his debut game. He's my new commander uh, replacing Ryami, so we will see how he runs compared to Ryami, right? So I'm gonna be discarding creatures. We have a little bit of synergies with discarding things, and then just eat all my opponents up. I'm gonna draw. I'm going to play a Cabaretti Courtyard when it enters the battlefield. I sacrifice it when I do a search for a land and I gain a life. I'm going to go get a mountain with that and it comes into play tapped and then I will say go. Draw for turn. Immediately, immediately, I made the right choice. Drew an Underworld. The other undergrowth two colors. Sanctum. No, no, no. But I did have a soul ring. Never then, not punished. Never not punished. Follower Stone. Never oh. not punished. And then he, turn. Right. Someone else is going to give him his color. Sure. <laughs> yep. Give me some blue, red, blue player. <laughs> Yeah! Dang it. All right, I'm gonna pay one for a soothsaying. Go ahead. <laughs> what year is Draw this again? Uh, this is like... Uh, 1999. Oh, 1999. This is like original commander. That card was like... Forest. Listed. Pass. Untap. Draw. Let's see if I can pull this off. Forest. Sylvan Library. And say go. Draw a card. Play Swamp. I do think I play the Wizards of Thay. Thay what? They what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. But I'm going to first play Arcane Signet and then Wizards of Thay. Come on, Soothsayer. Let's go. Um, Come on, Vandal. Are you going to scry? You're done, yeah? I'm done. Uh, well, you just look. You just, like, observe the top card. <laughs> but you can, you can if it's but if it's one. There's no yeah, point. Yeah. Uh, I'll play Soaring. Tap said Soaring for Talisman of Creativity. And then play an Is It Boilerworks. Good. Draw for turn. <laughs> Underground River. Pass. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. I'm going to draw three and take a look. They have to be non. All right. Who's, who's ready for fun? Carlos is. All right. We're going to play a Twilight Mire. We are going to tap all my lands down to play a Descent into Advernus. Uh, at the beginning of my upkeep, which will be next turn, put two Descent counters onto Descent into Advernus. Then each player creates X treasure tokens and Descent into Advernus deals X damage to each player where X is the number of Descent counters on Descent into Advernus. Okay. We got to kill Jeff. That's what I'm hearing. My turn. Yep. Your turn. 
Untap, draw, a uh, pitiless plunderer. A pity to fool. Swamp for turn. I think I'm going to play my commander. We'll go to combat. I'm gonna send Wizards of Thay at Jeff. That makes sense. Two. Um, I'll have two guys come in, and one of them's gonna exploit one of them. And we'll send the one that's exploiting your way, the one that was exploited, was you died. You take oh. no damage. I'm gonna take three. And I get a treasure token. I will then pass the turn. Uh, at the end of your turn. I'll pay life for a uh, brainstorm. Draw three and put two back. And untap. All right, let's go with the land. Uh, is it signet? The Felwar stuff. Wow. And then I'll cast Ian Malcolm. So whenever a player draws their second card each turn, that player exiles the top card of their library. During each player's turn, that player may cast a spell from among cards they don't own, exile with Ian Malcolm. And mana of any color can be used. Wow, that truly is chaos. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Draw for turn. Island. And pass. Untap. Upkeep. So we will all take two. And everyone gets treasures. All right. So then I'm going to go to draw and I'll draw three. So, all four <laughs> so I don't have to four. dig. Is the thing I only have to pay four life and four? I get rid of it. All four of us are going to exile a card. Okay. No, he's just drawing from <laughs> Sylvan. So I'm going to draw from Sylvan. So I'm going to draw one additional card. So I will lose four life. And then, so I then will exile the top card now. Yep. TM. So it's dead. All right. I will play a mountain. Pay three and play a Domri Anarch of Bolus. And he comes in with three, and I will uptick him to four to get a green mana from him. And then I will sacrifice my two treasures along with tapping my last land to generate in total four mana. And I will play a Ripjaw Raptor. And that will be my turn. I'll say go, Carlos. So I untap. Noted. This is just on your turn, right? Yes, it's just on my turn. Draw my Which one card. Which is the benefit, so I get to take, care of, take advantage of the treasures first, though. I'll then play the Augur of Autumn. Can look at the top card. I can play lands from the top. This will be blue. For Zimone, little baby Zimone. Uh, one color is floating. Skirk, Stag, High Priest. Let's play land for the turn. Um, Tropical Island is in play. And then I will look at the top card. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, I'll go to combat. I'll send a, a the actual wizards. Uh, who's going to flash something in? Who is going to flash something You're in? You're most likely going to fla not flash something in. Uh, token 3 3 and 2 one ones are going your way. Okay. Real 3 3 3. Real 3 3 is going your way. Nothing's going your way. Exploiting causes me to get a treasure. I'll just take it. And then I believe that is all I can do. Human power. We won't die to the dinosaurs. Doesn't look very scary. Play the Mines of Moria. Uh, we're going to cast one with the multiverse. So I can look at the top card of my library at any time. I can play lands and spells from the top of my library. And once during my each of my turns, I can cast a spell from my hand or the top of my library without paying its mana cost. Let's go ahead and cast uh, Anchor to the Ether for free. Um, so I will put Pitiless Plunderer on top of its owner's library and scry one. In response to that, we're gonna Assassin's Trophy, your one with the multiverse. But why? Um, and then I will scry one. Yeah, that's, you, sh you should have stolen that. That's it, that's what I got. And up. Draw for turn. Let's try for Indominus Rex. Here's Ira. Nothing bad can happen. As he enters the battlefield, then, I get to discard creatures. Lightsteel Colossus. Invisible Stalker. Scavenged Brawler. Can he get Why infect? Vigilance. No. Trample. Oh, that's great. Lifelink. Indestructible and hexproof. No haste, though, guys, so we're safe for. Uh, Indestructible we'll and hexproof? What is happening? I draw a card for each counter on him when he enters the battlefield. No day! So what? I'm gonna draw six, ca six cards. Okay, okay, so I just drew my second card. So exile. Hey, exile. Yep, so I'm gonna exile the top card. It is... Whoa! <laughs> Praetor, okay. So there's so, a Warring Clex. Uh, that's a Voice of Hunger though, right? Yep, so he's the Trample Haste. Double them number of counters you put on things. Oh no, Half not double them number. I mean, your opponent's put on things. Bayou. Oh. Kill a Descent, then he can't play it. Do we need to kill Descent right now, then? If you don't, he can do Descent both. for four. The descent will do for four. The following turn. No, this he'll be able to play Foreign Clex. And then a 20. And, 24 then, 24 put, plus and then put a doubled Commander out all next turn. Oh, I guess I have nine cards, ten cards. So I'm going to do it anyway. This costs one less for me to do. Channel. Destroy target enchantment. Yeah. 
you get to search your library for a land with a basic land type. Squires. Discard Thassa Deep Dwelling. Go ahead. Untapping. So this is exiled under Yeah. Indian. So now the three of you guys can play it on your turn, right? That's how it That works. is correct. Okay. Okay. I will draw. Oh, that's so sad. If you do I'm anything take else. One. Okay. And then Ian's going to trigger. No, he's not. I only took one. No, you drew three. You drew cards. Sylvan, they, they, Sylvan they, library. It'll, 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 always, it'll always go It'll off. always It'll trigger. always You're just going to okay. decide which one. Yeah. Then that's the case. Yeah. I will still be fine with that one. All still. right. And then give me the, the thing. And it's a Leaf Can Avenger. Alright, I'm gonna play a swamp for turn. Alright, I'm gonna play Vorinclex. Yeah, I'm gonna make my my five five um fight something. Is there anything that's bigger on your you have a three three or three, anything? Three three. I'll get rid of wizards then. I'll eat wizards. And I'll draw a card. Of all the creatures oh my get gosh. rid of. Okay, and then that will be my I mean it would have been more cards for you to turn go. To mm, draw for turn. One, two, Three, four to draw a card. I can look at the top. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything for X proof and destructible. I guess I just keep playing things. I'll play an overground to uh, forest. Actually, play the pitiless plunder. Exploit. I really wish to say I got off one more time. Zamon. <laughs> so I'll get a treasure from Zamon dying. Stove. And I get a 5 5 demon. Did I'll you? be done. All right, let's untap. We're going to play the best card in the deck Vision Schemes. Oh no. Each player draws two cards, and then everyone gives me, get, puts a card under Malcolm. Farseek. No, Assassin's Trophy! Oh. Yay! How does priority work? Um, Polyraptor. Well, it only oh, works I on my turn. I could have played that guy. That was It the only thing. works on my turn. So. I knew there was one more thing, is I could have played the Avenger. Okay, all right. We're going to play a future site. So, top card of my library is revealed. And cast Chalice for one. Cast Mox Diamond. Discard a land. And a desolate loot house. You could far seek. Oh, I can far seek. I'm going to far seek. You should have reminded me on my turn. No. Uh, that goes to you. Uh, I'm done. And up. Draw for turn. Urbor, mm -hmm. Tomb of Yogmoth. Everyone's lands are swamps. Three mana for the Great Henge. I will cast the Ozolith. Well, I'm gonna attack Pry Jeff. I'll just hit your face. Six, pass. Untap, upkeep, nothing this time, but we will. I missed this. Lightsteel was supposed to be shuffled in. I will exile this Cinderglade that you don't want. Um, and then I will play a Spire Garden for turn. I'm gonna take this uh, Draw Raptor and have him go punch John in the face for five. I can block. I know he's not blocked in. <laughs> I'll do a Volcanic Spray. Volcanic Spray does one damage to each uh, creature without flying in each player. He was dealt to damage? Oh no, no upon his creatures. No. Um, I will take up here. I want to cast my commander. No, it's each creature without flying. Yeah, Polyraptor gets so you draw a card. You draw a card. Oh, yes. All right, I will still play my commander though. So I did three. five plus another three is eight. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play Jessica's Will. Uh, tell me your cards, Jason. Six. I'm pretty sure he's five. I'm gonna do him for six. Any results? I don't think so. I don't think anyone's got anything. Okay. I will exile three. A bunch of lands mostly, and a god. Yes. Uh, I'll use two of the six to go down to four to play mm. a Talisman of Impulse. I will take one though from that and use two more to go down to two red remaining to play this Snake Umbra on my commander, which I believe gives it plus one, plus one as well, right? Sure. Yep. And with the um, uh, two remaining red, we are going to play in a braid. Is it the Great Hinge or the Oslo guys? I will well, like uptick <laughs> just for the sake of upticking, probably, because I don't have anything for one. <laughs> nope, don't have anything for one. Go, Carlos. Draw for turn. Look at top. Play a land. I want to play Endric Sar, Master Breeder. Then I will play Sirak and Goreclaw. I exploit one. Draw a card. Ba -na 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 -na. Oh. Is it land? Nice. Oh. So look at the top. Tap some thralls. And this dude. Get another. You don't. Copy. <sighs> I'm gonna attack um, with a five five. I get it if it's me, it's at fine. Domri. Mostly, I just don't want the fighting. You, you being able to pick off my things is not cool. <sighs> fine. And I'm done. Untap Andrew. Oh, counterbalance. Cool. Oh. Huh? What the heck? Um, well, the nice thing... Counterbalance Soothsaying, baby! The nice thing... Oh, Soothsaying... Sensei's top! Wow. Wait, wait, wait. I have a response to the counterbalance. Uh, okay. Why? There's nothing uncouth 
going on over here. Gaining two life. I don't think he can counter my stuff. He doesn't have CMC that's big <laughs> enough. <laughs> Cyber Cryptomancer. So I'm putting a plus one plus one counter on right. this guy. He has hex proof again. When he enters the battlefield, he gets a plus one plus one. And I draw a card. Counterbalance good. No, it's not good. It's bad. Uh, but it resolves. Okay, yes. All right, great. Tap my ever flowing chalice. Cast a sensei stop. Go ahead and cast Kami of the Crescent Moon. At the beginning of each player's draw step, that player draws a card. Flood is stranded. Land for tomorrow. <gasps> Fevered visions. So at the beginning of each player's end step, that player draws a card. And if that player is my opponent and has four more cards in hand, it deals two damage to you. What is that? Vesuvan Drifter is revealed before I put this on top and cast a vision skeins. So I'll draw two in exile. Questing beast. Earthquake. Land. Earthquake? <laughs> Otawara. Earth? Did you draw two? Nope. Prowling Geist Catcher. Oh. Go ahead and play an arcane signet. Now that you've seen more of my deck. Draw. Draw. I'll pass the turn to you. So on top, I can, get, I can bounce Ian or counterbalance. If you bounce counterbalance, I can get Ian off the board. But why though? And my things? So I don't like that. I will do it so that it doesn't get rid of your things. All right, I'll bounce counterbalance. With Otawara. This is still my upkeep. Deadly Rollick on Ian. Let's go. Oh, that. Nah. I'll just spin top. All right, well, I'm going to put Audacious Swap on top and i think i'll just go ahead and cast it so four mana with casualty to the owner of target non enchantment permanent shuffles it but if it's a land you can put it on the battlefield otherwise you can cast it without paying its mana cost so it's not just permanents jeff are you just gonna like attack him a bunch right no it's random uh the effect is the enrage effect is random never mind. you should but I, command i'm gonna though. try and gonna, i'm gonna try and gonna go away. his commander though yeah, your commander's gotta go away i'm sorry <sighs> i think so, i'm gonna die <sighs> clever girl it would kill us. All right, so I'm audacious <laughs> swapping, and I'm gonna swap Kami of the Crescent Moon and that. So I'm gonna sack Ian. So we shuffle the permanent, then exile the top card of your library. And really catapult it is. The reality chip. Okay, and then this fizzles. So draw for turn. Danny Pink. Okay, so Great Hand is gonna trigger. Plus one, plus one counter. I draw a card. When a plus one, plus one counter is put on there, I'll draw a card. Snow-covered forest. Maybe I Earthquake for one. <laughs> yep. So the exiled with Ian Malmazo is this creature. Yep. Okay. So these are all exiled so These now. are all exiled forever. John, I'm attacking you for seven. Why? What have I done to you? Pass. Um, and so I'm only doing my Sylvan Library now. Okay. Oh, you draw a card at the end of your turn. Oh, yeah. And if you have four or more cards in hand, you take two. Take two. I'm going to take four. Mountain. I'm gonna play an Atraxis command. The first mode I'm gonna choose is it deals three damage to each opponent. And the next mode I'm gonna choose is put a land from my hand onto the battlefield. Overgrown tomb, and I will shock it in, so I take two. Um, and then I will hit you all for one, an additional one. Um, and then I'll play my Raptor. I'm pretty sure I did four damage to each of you, so it's 12. Uh -huh. And it has Menace. And I will pay two green to also play my own Great Henge. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna do two, I'll gain two life, and I'll do green or red, so I need to flash back my Volcanic Spray. Everyone takes one damage, and one all damage to all creatures. creatures. I get five treasures. All right, so I get a draw card, and then I get to enrage, and we get to roll a dice. So one and two will be Carlos, two and three, or three and four will be you, five and six will be Jason. And we're, everyone's praying for Jason right now, right? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm praying for John. It's Carlos. Oh, six. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's, so how much uh, is it? Fifteen. Or I can sac a creature. Or you can sacrifice a non-token creature. Oh. I wasn't, should never have been afraid of that. No, you should never have been afraid of it. Yeah, yeah. I, I told you not to be afraid of it. He was the one who was afraid of it. I'm he afraid of it. Uh, I have one green floating stone. I'm going to pay one more from the card I drew, and I'll play an arcane signet. And that is my turn now. Can't play that as instant speed, so I draw a card. Did you do your fevered visions? Yeah, draw a card. Oh. At the end of your turn. How many cards do you have? How many? I will have, this. when I draw, I'll have five now. Two. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna play Heron Blade Elite. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control, put a counter on it. Add X mana of any one color where X is Heron Blade's Elite's power. I also, though, have Surak that says, whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a one one counter on it and it has haste. So end of turn. Three thralls. I will sack one of them to my Heron Blade Elite. Exploitation. Have another dice, please, yeah. Draw a card, get a treasure. First, play a Zulaport Cutthroat. Uh, what? Getting two thralls, exploiting Once a thrall. Once he had the ability to uh -huh. sack outlet. Yeah, he doesn't really need a sack outlet to kill me. You all take a damage, I gain a life. 
So it's really goes up to six, but then I'm exploiting. Sure. Like I said, I get another dice. If Carlos once again steals the win you here, take I damage. will be. Carlos, There's no steal here. Carlos usually steals wins. Let's face it. This this will not be stealing, but I'm getting exactly what I need on the top, and then I can look. I'll play a land's return. I, I think we're all f six. Trixie and altar. Okay. There's the the so, suck outlet. That means that my Endric doesn't die. So now I'll never. So he can yeah, sacrifice yeah. the the thralls for Banna though, so he doesn't go over seven. Yeah. So. All right. So, so I'm dead. Yeah, you're dead. So and he's probably dead. All those creatures Just on board, creatures. I can kill these two. Five mana. We all lose Four. five. We yeah. all lose five. I get five treasures. And gain five, and gain five mana. And gain uh -huh. five life. To cast? Sir Conrad the Grim. Oh, oh yeah. jeez. Yeah, there we go. All right. So now you get... And I get five. We're, we're good here. Five now thralls. I get five thrills. Yep. This goes All of his one. creature spells are free because he just sacrifices mm -hmm. them for mana. He, he's up mana. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's can getting I, mana. Yeah, I'm gaining at a... Well, and you can activate to burn away all your lands on top now. Yeah, as long as I can keep casting creatures, you guys die. So each take ten. Okay. And I get five mana, and I get five treasures. I also exploit something, so I draw. I will burn this, so each mill a card, and then I'll play Liliana, and that should be it because yeah. you just sacrifice have enough. things, then I die. Yeah. Play Ashnod. Play everything. No. And here's what here was what I was sort of. I wanted to win, but I, the first card I drew was Dictate. I knew that so was Dictate helped me take care of that. Mm -hmm. Doesn't help me win though. No. So 